let's see, the first thing we're going to do then is we're going to layer background images using the BYOB Thesis Full Width Backgrounds plugin. And what it's going to happen is we're going to have a great big background image that will cover the whole background. And then we're going to have a background image for the header area, and a background image for the page area, and then a background image for the footer area. So we have background images either laying on top of each other or stacked top to bottom. And we're going to start that here, right? So here is my big background image. And then this is the background image that will be in the header and the footer. And this is the background image that will be in the content area. So the content area is going to end up with a nice white background to it. This concept can easily be used to, for example, put a colored background in a sidebar and make sure that colored background goes from the top of the page to the bottom of the page. Most typical CSS solutions to adding a colored sidebar end up having that sidebar not have its color extend all the way to the bottom of the page because pages can be longer than the sidebars. But you can also use this concept to do that. And I might even, probably won't do it today, but I'll also show you how to just add a background color to a sidebar using the same system. But these are the three images that we're going to use. And now what we're going to do is we'll come back over to the dashboard of the site. And I've got my full width backgrounds plugin already installed. And now what we're going to do is we're going to customize the body, the header area, the content area, and the footer area. So we're going to do all of those. And the first thing we're going to do is put the body background style in. Now what we need is the location of that. So we will grab, we'll start with this. And then we'll go back to FileZilla and we'll copy the WP content. Okay, come on. Just let me copy part of it. WP content theme CSS 182 custom and images. and then slash, and then the name of that image was Sean-BG, S-E-A-N hyphen B-G dot J-P-G. Okay, so now we've got the image there. And I'm actually just going to stop right there, hit save, and we'll take a look at the result. It's not going to be exactly what we want, but I want you to see what we have to adjust in order to make it work the way we want it to work. Well, it certainly is not exactly what we want. Background image. I must not have my themes, thesis 182, custom images, sean.bg.jpg, copy. Well, no, that's the right URL. Okay, let's save that again. Maybe I didn't save it properly. Okay, there we go. So now that image shows up here. And if we... Oh, and it's nicely centered, actually. But you can see it's cut off, right? Because there's a background color that has been set for the rest of the site. So what we need to do here, then, is come back over to background image. What we want to do is we don't want it to repeat in either direction. And we may as well just specify that we want it to be centered in the monitor and then we want it to start at the top. And then, and then we can just say save to that. That gets it in its right position. Oh, actually there's one other thing. Since the image is black, we want the background color to be black. And so I'm going to enter black there, which is all zeros and hit save to that. And then we have to make other things transparent. So we're going to start off with uh, header area background styles. And we'll start with the background image. If we just hit make it transparent, 
and then content area background styles background image make it transparent and then footer area background styles make it transparent now the image is going to show up all the way through right and you can see where the image ends it goes down to black down here at the bottom